upper extremity finger congenital abnormalities. Arm buds begin to grow at 26 days of fertilization. At 7.4 weeks, the fingers are completely separated. And by eight weeks, the limb structures are fully developed. After eight weeks, the limbs continue to mature and enlarge and develop. One way that limb growth or limb buds develop is from proximal to distal. And what that means is the shoulder will grow before the elbow, the elbow before the wrist, the wrist before the fingers. The majority of upper extremity congenital anomalies occur during this four to eight week period of limb development. Congenital anomalies um, account for about 2% of newborns. And out of that 2%, about 10% will have upper extremity abnormalities. Congenital limb is second most to congenital heart disease in birth malformation. Most anomalies occur spontaneously or they are inherited. Syndactyly or webbing is fingers that are joined together by soft tissue. This photo shows a complete syndactyly because the skin is joined all the way to the tip of the finger. If this was an incomplete syndactyly, the skin would actually not go to the tip and would stop prior to the end of the finger or the end of the toe. You can see in this x-ray that the ring finger and middle finger, this is a simple syndactyly as they are joined together by skin only and the bones are not involved. So a simple syndactyly is one of the most common congenital hand anomalies. Joints are usually normal. Skin or soft tissue is, are the connections between the fingers. The neurovascular anatomy is typically normal. And the tendons that bend the fingers or extend the fingers, so your flexor tendons and your extensor tendons are typically intact and work independently per finger. So in other words, only the skin is keeping the fingers together and the fingers can work on their own if they are separated. Between the simple syndactyly or the complex syndactyly, the options to separate are always surgical. So this must be discussed with, your, with a qualified surgeon. Typically, post-surgery rehabilitation is roughly 12 weeks.